Hello my friends, Rachel Archelay is here and I want to talk to you just for a minute about books and something that happened to me yesterday. I think some people who are wanting to write a book sometimes don't even go forward because they think no one's gonna read this, self-published books don't sell, etc. I just want you to know that it's been four years since I released my book Intuitive Art I get emails all the time thanking me for it and all of that, you know, but I have a platform. Like I sell my book to people who are interested in what I have to offer. So I'm not really a good case study for people who are just starting from scratch. But here's the thing. <laughs> Last week, I met someone at my coffee shop and he was reading all kinds of spiritual books and um, we got to talking for a minute and I thought, oh, you know, he would probably really like my book. I don't usually do this, but I went home, I grabbed a copy for him and I brought it back and he was overjoyed. But then I don't expect people to read things I give them. You know, he didn't ask for it. So I just let it go and that's fine with me. Like I, I gave him the book. That's what I wanted. And then the next day I went in there, he had highlighted and underlined things. And so the day before yesterday, he asked me if he could buy eight copies. And I was like, sure, okay, that's amazing. And then the day after that, yesterday, the barista, who's a, you know, a young man, I think he's 21, um, not necessarily the demographic I wrote the book for, but of course, all are welcome to read it. He told me that that person had given him a copy of the book and that he was looking through it and he said it was beautiful and he's been wanting to learn more about himself and he feels like he's at a crossroads. And he was telling this to me in like a low tone and like it was still something new he was discovering, um, you know, like who he is and, and all that and he's really into art and color so it was kind of the perfect thing for him at the perfect time. I didn't need a platform for that to happen. I didn't need any, I didn't send any emails, you know, I had just had the book. I had written and I had published the book. And it's things like that that seriously make your day, make your week, make your year. I feel so gratified and fulfilled, but more so like in awe, not of me, at all, but of just like how interconnected we all are and how our creative efforts really can affect other people positively. I just love that. I, it makes me want to write more books. <laughs> like I'm, I am in the process and it makes me want to like do it right now. So I wanted to share that with you. I also want to share that um, you probably know we have a course starting next week called Write Your Book. The emails I sent you before uh, were for the wrong, they went to the wrong date page, but trust me, it starts next week, I've fixed the link, the dates are correct, and if you've been thinking about writing a book, I can say it has been the most fulfilling thing I've ever done. I don't even know why, right? It's like these stories that happen, it's the emails that you get. Even if it's just poetry, you know, I, I gave, um, my fairy tale book, which granted has sold a lot less than this nonfiction how-to book. But anyway, I gave it to a new publisher friend a couple weeks ago, and he said it was a masterpiece, and he, he commented on how it was written and how, how effective it was, and you know, it has gotten some great industry reviews, and it kind of like puts me in the playing field of artists and writers that I really admire. And so even if a book, if you're not looking for like tons of sales and a, a huge new revenue stream, it's still worthwhile because it's you. It's your creative expression. It's your wisdom, your knowledge, your story. And that really means something. It's a cathartic, amazing thing for you to write, but then it's also a cathartic, amazing thing for people to read. So there are ways to sell lots of self-published books, and I will share that with you. There are ways of you being a way better writer than you think you really are, because that, that's what happens to me, too. We'll show you how to write it, 
how to edit it yourself so that it can be the best that it can be before you then give it to another editor. We'll show you all different ways to self-publish, what to do if you want to get an agent or um, a traditional publisher, all kinds of things. You've got two publishing professionals at your service and Dina is such an incredible teacher at writing, something I couldn't teach you. And then we both have lots of publishing experience. So you're invited, come on in, write your book, we'll help you. And you know, you'll see what your creative creation does in the world. And I'm really excited to see that too. All right, see you next week, maybe. Bye. <laughs>